Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta, and today we are going to talk about feature scaling of the data. Why feature scaling of the data is necessary? Each algorithm we use for prediction or clustering uses some mathematical formulas. These mathematical formulas hardly appreciate the variations in the scale of values between each feature, which creates a problem in identification of the gradient descent. In fact, unscaled data leads to the difficulty in visualizations and they can degrade the predictive performance of many machine learning algorithms. This type of data can also slow down the convergence of many gradient-based estimators or maybe prevent it at all from working. Indeed, many estimators are designed with the assumptions that all the features vary on the comparable scales. In particular, gradient-based estimators often assume that the training data is already standardized, which means that the variable is having centered features with unit variances. A notable exception are decision tree based estimators that are robust to arbitrary scaling of the data. Let's discuss one example where we want to predict the house prices. The variables or features which we consider here are price of the house, the surface area of the house, that's a square foot, number of rooms. All these variables in the given data frame will be on the different scale. However, you will have to process them using the same algorithm. That's the reason we require the feature scaling of the data. Pre-processing pre this data will put all this data at the same level. The importance of feature scaling. If you don't apply feature scaling wisely, you will observe slow learning and reduce performance of the algorithm. Three methods widely used for rescaling the data are Normalizing the data, also known as mean max scalar. Second, standardizing the data. Third, binarization of the data. First, we will discuss normalize or mean max scalar. This technique perform, transforms each feature by adapting on a given range. Make it here simple. Here is a transformation formula for each feature. So x scale is equal to the old data minus the minimum divided by maximum minus minimum of the data set. This is normalizing the data. Next comes the standardization. Standardization is the transformation of features by subtracting from mean and dividing by standard deviation. This is often called as a z score. Geometrically speaking, the risk scale data have mean and the standard deviation to be 0 and 1 respectively. We can see that as we are just changing the mean and standard deviation to a standard normal distribution, which is still normal, thus the shape of the distribution is not affected at all. Binarization is a process of dividing the data into two groups and assigning one out of two values to all the members of the same group. This is usually accomplished by defining a threshold T and assigning the value zero to all the data points below the threshold, threshold level T and one to all those above it. Now, how to do this? Let's see in Python. So from pandas import read underscore CSV, from numpy import set underscore print options, from sklm dot preprocessing import mean max scalar, which is, you can say, which is a function, which is, which which will be used for feature scaling the data. Now we will have to specify the path where our file data file is located. As we are using read underscore CSV, we will have to, we can import only the CSV file. So file name is equal to the path. Then we will specify the names of the variables. So here class is a target variable names is equal to the name of the variables data frame is equal to read underscore csv the file name and names is equal to the names array is equal to data frame dot values now we will specify what is x so x we will consider or see the command goes this way array rectangular bracket applicable to applicable to all rows and we'll be selecting 0 to 8 features y is equal to array applicable to all rows comma eighth column scalar is equal to mean max scalar 
feature underscore range is equal to zero comma one round brackets two round brackets rescaled x is equal to scalar dot fit underscore transform x so x will be transformed into minimum and maximum scale set underscore print options precision till three digits print rescaled x that is generate zero to five rows applicable to all columns zero to five rows means one two three four and five so when i'll run this command i'll get the output now the same process can also be done with the help of normalize data from sklearn.preprocessing import normalizer from pandas import read underscore csv from numpy import set underscore print options x is equal to array applicable to all rows that is colon comma 0 to 8 y is equal to array colon comma 8 scalar is equal to normalizer fit x fit x is this array normalized x is equal to scalar dot transform x summarize the transform data set underscore print options precision three digit output we want print normalized x first five rows that is zero to five comma applicable to all columns this is the first method which can be done with the help of this syntax or you can use this syntax also this syntax also now we will standardize the data which means that the data will have a zero mean and one standard deviation so from sklearn dot preprocessing import standard scalar from pandas import read underscore csv from numpy import set print options s x is equal to array colon comma zero zero to eight y is equal to array colon comma eight scalar is equal to standard scalar round brackets fit x rescaled x is equal to scalar dot transform x set underscore print options precision is equal to three round brackets print rescaled x zero to first for generate first five rows comma applicable to all columns and you will you will be able to see that the data is transformed into or rather this is a standardized data having zero mean and one standard deviation in the previous normalized uh, normalized data you can see that the entire data has got converted into zero and one similarly in mean max scalar has got converted into zero and one now the third type of pre-processing Re, also known as rescaling the data, also known as feature scaling the data. This is the binarization. We will convert the entire data into 0 and 1. From sklearn.preprocessing import binarizer. From pandas import read underscore csv. From numpy import set underscore print options. Then we will extract x is equal to array colon comma zero is zero to eight y is equal to array colon comma eight binarizer is equal to binarizer threshold 0 0.00 fit x binary x is equal to binarizer dot transform x but set underscore print options precision three print binary x zero to five that is the first five rows comma colon applicable to all the columns when we will run this entire data will get converted into 0 to 1. This is all about feature scaling of the data. For more videos on machine learning using Python, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can see my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos related to machine learning using Python. Please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe the channel.